Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to learnerslesson.com. In this series of tutorial, we are going to learn about Java. This is tutorial number one, where we are going to learn the very basics of Java and how to set it up for your local environment. So the first thing which comes into our mind is, what is Java? Well, Java is a programming language. At the same time, it's object oriented. So what is an object oriented programming language? A language in which everything is considered to be an object. Now, we will be learning more about it in the coming slides. Java is a platform independent language. Say you are coding in a window system. So say you are writing a Java code in your window system and you want to give the same program to your friend who is using a Mac OS. Is it possible? Yes, absolutely. It's possible because Java is a is a platform independent language so it's independent on the operating system it's running on you code in linux you give it you run it in a windows system or mac os it's definitely possible java is used in wide variety of applications be it a web application or enterprise application desktop application or even a mobile application the next thing which comes into our mind is what is what is it which is needed to run a java application or you want to code a java you want to write a java code what is the basic setup which is needed in your computer to run java this is nothing but jdk what is jdk jdk stands for java development kit this is the only thing which you need to install on your computer and you are you are ready for to write your java program jdk can be downloaded from this particular url so right now what we are going to do is we will be checking out how to go to this particular link and download java so what we did is we copied the link from the description box and we are going to paste it over here so let's see how it works so when we open this so our main motto is to download java and as you can see there is a download button over here so we need to click on this and it has taken us to a page where you can find uh, you need to you can download it for linux or you can download it for mac os or solaris our main intention is we need to download it for windows and so there is an exe file which we need to download so yes there we got a message uh, stating sorry you must accept the license agreement before downloading so all we need to do is there is a license agreement over here you need to check it first and then you are ready to download so let us click on this and all you need to do is see file so it's going to take some time for downloading based on your internet speed and as we can see the download is completed so let us open this particular folder so as we can see it's downloaded in the download folder by default let us double click on this and it's installing okay let us click on next well it's telling development tools or source code and by default it's installing to c drive program files java jdk 11.0.1 so let us click on next so it's installing so it will be taking a little bit based on your system well so you got a message stating java is successfully installed so now you can close it so we are done installing java in our local system and we are all set to code in java you can open a notepad and you can start writing your java program then you can go to the command prompt and you can run your you can compile and then you can run your java program but just wait for a second what if there would be a place there would be a kind of software which will be giving you a little bit of little more flexibility like you can code in the in the same place there would be some button which you click which will compile and finally run your program and would be displaying in the same place would be a lot better right yes and there comes ide and what is an ide an ide is nothing but an integrated development environment so what is what is the need of an IDE so if there would be no IDE you can even you can code in a notepad and then you need to go to the command prompt and then you have to compile your Java program and you have to write it 
and you don't have a project structure in that case you have to maintain maintain all the project structure all by yourself and the benefit of IDE is it maintains a project structure for you it will be giving you a button which you on click of that you can compile your program and finally run it and your output would be shown in that ID itself so let us see how to download this ID and what ID we will be using right now so right now we have chosen IntelliJ IDEA and there are there are also IDs like Eclipse or NetBeans but but personally I prefer IntelliJ IDEA and it's widely used so this is the below link from which you can download IntelliJ IDEA and so let us go to this link and download IntelliJ so what we have done is we have copied the link to download IntelliJ IDEA and we are going to paste it over here so we are in the download page for IntelliJ IDEA there is an ultimate edition and there is also a community edition so all see and also you can see there is something called windows mac and linux so we are going to do it for windows and we are going to do the community edition because it's free so let us click on the download button and as we can see we need to save this file and based on your internet speed it's going to download so as we can see it's going to download within a few minutes and it's already downloaded the the size is quite large so based on your internet speed it's going to happen and let us open the downloads folder and as we can see it has already downloaded so we are going to install it so let us just click on next and let us put this default uh, setting for now so th this is the default location where it will be installed let's click on next and now all we need to do is we need to check the java box and nothing else we don't need groovy or anything else now let us click on next now let us click on install it will be taking a while to install this let us let us click on finish and open this all we need to do is we need to check on do not import settings and click on ok well let us click on the conti continue button so let us uh, click on skip for now and as you can see IntelliJ is starting so this is the IntelliJ window which has opened so let us click on create new project now we don't have to select anything else all we need to do is select Java from the left hand side so and in the right hand side there is something called as project SDK this SDK is nothing but the JDK as I told you initially now let us click on new and as we can see JDK is already set so what I'll do is I'll erase it for now and I'll be showing you freshly how to set up JDK now if you remember where JDK is installed so JDK was installed in C drive program files so all we are going to do is we are just going to uncheck C drive and let us check C drive again let us click on C drive again let us select program files and Java so in this you can find JDK so let us click on JDK and let us click on OK so as we can see the path is already set that means it's already associated to IntelliJ so now let us click on next for now we don't have to select this so let us click on the next button and as we can see we have named our project name as first application and we are going to save our project in this particular location that is C drive learners lesson idea project and first application so let us click on finish as we can see IntelliJ idea has already started so we don't need any tip we're just closing it and this is the blank window which is open so all we need to do is on the left hand side you can see a project button let us click on that and all we can see is we have our project on the left hand side of the screen so this is the one this is our project first application for now you don't have to bother about external libraries or scratches and consoles our main focus would be on first application which is the name of our project so let us expand it again inside this we can find dot idea src folder first application dot iml again we don't have to bother about first application dot iml and dot idea we will just be bothered about src folder 
This SRC folder is the only folder where all our Java related files would be stored. And what do I mean by a Java related file? All our Java program should be written in a type of file which ends with an extension .java. Say if you want to build an application with the name as my first application, the file name should be my first application .java. All your code should be inside that. So let us see quickly how to do it. All you need to do is just right click on this, select new and there is something called as Java class. When I click on Java class, this opens a small box for you. So in this you type the name of the file and IntelliJ is going to create a file for you. Let us give it a name as uh, my first application. And what we have done is we have given a name as my first application. And if we click on OK, what happens is a file has created with the name as my first application dot Java with four lines. So for now, our main intention is we will be writing a program which will be printing something on the screen. See our program would be printing hello world on the screen and there are a bunch of four lines. We won't be worried about this in this first tutorial. We will be learning more about it in the coming tutorials. For now, let us just print something on the screen. To print something on the screen, we need a print statement. And in Java, there is a very long print statement system.out.println. And inside the bracket, we will be placing our hello world. But just remember, it should be inside double quotes. So we have it. Now, how to run it? On the top menu bar, you can see run. So click on this and then click on run, which is below. So let us click on run. So we will be selecting the application as my first application. And as we can see, hello world is printed on the screen. So if you if you expand this SRC folder, we can see first application is already created. This first application is nothing but the Java class file. My first application dot Java, although dot Java is not mentioned, but it's there. And as we can see, hello world is already printed on the screen. So this is same as the hello world, which is over here. If you change it, hello, just simply omit the world and keep it as hello. And let us read on it again. This is the button which is used to rerun. So just note it over here and we can see hello has already printed. So that was the first basic tutorial on Java. That is, we have learned how to print hello world on the screen or simply something on the screen. In the coming tutorials, we will be learning what is a class, what is a public keyword and all about the few lines which we didn't explain right now. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe if you love this video and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you so much.